Hey, let me tell you something. Don Straps your album out now on all the social platforms. What do you mean you ain't supporting the one club, man? The link's in the description. Go check it out. Hashtag anything. Name that Don. Last week's question has been unsolved. So we roll it on. 18 appearances, one goal and one assist. Name that Don correctly in the comments and you'll win yourself some Don merchandise. Don't forget to hashtag name that Don and let us know where you're from. Good luck. Hey. What are you saying? Good bro, good man. You saying good. Oh, you got squatty today, man? Trust me. Yeah, boy. What are you saying? What are you saying? You good? Yes. Crooked. I'm saying, I'm I'm come good. to witness some some ballers play, fam. That's it. I've come to see some of my teammates doing madness today. Oh. You saying Ballon Beanie? Give Chris Bud. Give him touch. 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 I can understand. Mm -hmm. To the bank. To the bank. To the bank. To the bank. What is your name? Alexis. Okay. Me know me Chris. Why are you trying to? Alexis. What? Oh. Here for another day, man. I was trying to camera on you. You didn't even drive. I see you running it. For me. Yeah. Get get the keys in. Get them. Get the mileage in. Yeah. Same. 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 I told Monty, yeah. He's the king of the cage. No, I am. You're the king of the cage. Yeah. Bigger man! It's got a little dub, man. Quick one. Huh? It's got a little W, fam. Is it? Yeah, man. We're ready for the rematch, still. Scotty, bro. What are you saying? <laughs> Nothing to say, Chris. That's what happened to um, Zach Fagan and Ginger Joe? Both injured. No way. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Scotty got the move down. Why are you just bringing ringers, fam? I know, I know your phone book's full of ballers, fam. No, bro. I know your phone book you got. Yeah. You got a madness in there. You got to stay loyal to the players, innit? But everyone else does it. They can do that, innit? But we don't do that over here. Stay loyal to the people that women be from the get go, you get me? Scotty. Yeah, I know, they couldn't get long for us. No words, Chris, no words. <laughs> no words. Who you got on your team, Stephen? Just a couple of guys. Pathetic! <laughs> See the difference between the two? Move, man. We'll see what happens, innit? Bring your man! Who's your money on? Come on. The Paz, I've got the most stuns. That's that team right there. Work hard! <laughs> and we did it! Hey, Chris, before we get started, i got an announcement to make. Bring in the news flash. Just a quick reminder. I want to thank the whole Dons family for your support. You've stuck with us throughout this pandemic and lack of football content. What I can reveal is, on Sunday the 4th of April, Sunday League Football returns. So two Sundays from now, Sunday League Football's back. It's emotional. Okay, then what's happening, people? Welcome back to another episode of Zach Answer Summer Street Ball. And there's two footballs on the pitch. <laughs> so today's opponents is Scotty and his mates. He's got the genius myth with him. Uh, Billy Bingham, top player, Jake Reeves, some real good players out there. But we know it's gonna be physical as well. Hey, Crook. What's your thoughts on the physical stuff? Be a man! Everyone knows, but recently Big G bought himself a dog. I remember one time the dog pooed outside the crook's bedroom. When he found it, he opened the front door and kicked the dog out. It looked like this. I say it every week, some of you are just here for the tackles, some of you are here for the megs. Zach, sorry it had to be you fella. That's Bingham putting one through his legs. We have another look at it. Oh my god. 11.36 on the Justin Bieber, Big G fans, K-Runner who's getting in behind. A little bit of scrappy stuff here is headed away. We've been watching this long enough to know that you can't give Anton Semenyo a chance. With the return of grassroots football imminent, I saw the crook practicing his long distance passes in the park. It looked like this. That's pathetic! So as I said before, Scotty's mates, they're all local lads, man. Really good players as well. That's Nathan Gordon in the blue tracksuit. Good friend of the Dons. Uh, this is Jake as well, one of Mr. Wackett's close guys. Anyways, tried a nutmeg, but nothing's come from it. It's come to K-Runner. Back to Semenyo, back to Runner. Uh, scrappy one turned out to Zach Ante. Fans, Cads. Big G notices that their keeper hasn't got goalie gloves on. He spots K-Runner. That's a great finish, by the way. But it doesn't count because I think he's inside the box. 
We love WWF. Some of you are just here for the ankle locks. Scotty's team got a big lad up top. His name's Shaggy. Bit of a legend in the non league scene, especially for our partner club, Cray Wanderers. And there he is, he pulls out a nutmeg, but Big G makes himself big, and no goal comes from it. And here he is again, the boy Shaggy, looking like a retired version of John Travolta, but he's got quick feet, gets it again, lovely footwork, but hits the deck, and Big G tells him, get up. On the ball, you can't just drop and So, pretty even start from both teams, but the Dons find themselves 1 0 up. We seem pretty quicker on a break. As you can see, it breaks down here, great work from K Run, he finds Zach Ansa, slides it into Cads again, keep him making himself big. Some of you just here for the footwork. And it's way! Now, to be honest, there's a specific player I think we all want to see. It's the myth. Another legend from the Don doesn't play anymore. But here he is. That's pathetic! 22 in, more from Team Scotty. It's Jake Reeves on the ball now. Goes for a little run and a strike. Good save from G. So, approaching the 25th. Still 1 0 to the Dons. It's Big G. Spotting out runs from K Runner all the time, getting in and behind. Uh, he seems to catch an elbow in the bridge of the nose here. Uh, knocks it back to Kaz though. Kaz looks forward to Semenyo. That's two. What are they complaining about, dude, man? That's normal, bruv. Welcome to Middle Park, man. Hey, Crook, what's your thoughts? Be a man! So I tried to give him a proper intro, but his first shot was a bit wayward. But the man we're talking about is the myth. He's, he's, he's a joy to watch, I must say. I'm a big fan of the guy. And here's Jake on the ball now. Knocks it through to myth, just lets it run through his legs. That's the myth we all know and love. And here he is again, he collects it. I ain't gonna lie, it's beautiful. He nutmegs a do-rag crisp, um, but luckily nothing comes from it. Oh my God. Big G spots runner in behind again, on the chest, nearly goes in. Some of you new supporters might not know much about the myth. He's Scotty's uncle. And when he does things like this, it's just normal to him. Oh my God. Scotty to myth. I had to leave it in. Come on, squeeze up So approaching a half an hour mark, the Dons comfortably 2-0 in front, but Scotty's team moving it about well, and they come close again. Hey, hey, hey. 32-40, it's Nathan Gordon taking the free kick, finds Scotty, loses possession, T collects it, great player as well. Um, coming forward, sees Cads on the outside, shoots. 33 minutes in, and some of you are still only here for the tackle. Hey, T, 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 hold on, hold on. I'm asking you one thing. That one all on. 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 I'd be lying if I said I didn't enjoy this one. Hey, Crook, what's your thoughts on it? Be a man! So a little push and shove has to be expected. As you know, you can't do slide tackles uh, in the rules here. But it's myth. A quick nutmeg on um, blue. Again, Big G making himself big. Uh, Philo strikes it across. And they come close. So Don still 2-0 up. But Scotty's team getting closer now. It's Ant into T. Gives it to run a court in possession. Big one comes close. So some of you are just here for the tackles. Here's one from Cads just clipping Nathan's ankles. Some of you are here for the Megs. There's Bingham on T. Another ankle clipper. So 37 in, it's Smith collects the ball, loses possession. I like him. Cads collects it. It's lovely bit of footwork from K runner there. I must say, continues his run. What a goal that would have been. So approaching the 40 of Zach answer forward to K runner. It's causing all types of problems. Uh, a little bit physical there with Nathan. Philo collects it. Zach comes flying in. Uh, falls back down to Nathan. He shoots. But that's easy for G. More from Team Scotty now as Jake lifts one over. Myth keeps the ball on. Uh, fires it in. First time ball from Bingham. He gets it back. It's good football. Here's a clip of Scotty being reminded that the sunbed shops are still closed. Hey! Bingham man! <laughs> Trying to work out what's more impressive. Nathan taking a full power shot of the ball in the back of his head and staying on his feet or this touch. Oh my God. We live in an era where goalkeepers are fortunate enough to wear goalie gloves. Scotty's mate said he doesn't need his gloves. Starting to believe him. I think this is the most polite foul I've ever seen. Great footwork from T. And then the culprit strokes his cheek sympathetically. So 47 minutes in, remember no breaks, no drinks, nothing, fatigue kicks in. It's wonderful to watch. With the return of grassroots football imminent, I saw the crook practicing in the park. 
Long distance passes while on the counter attack. It looked like this. Pathetic! I was trapping in Elm, caught they trapped him in Belm, roller coaster or belt on She bougie ting with her nails done. Told my babe put a purse away, it's Donny Jones and you welcome. Play the cards and I dealt them. I was trapping in Dollar of the Week. Tune say we linked up with our sponsors Juvenis and ran a little competition for the people then. Burrow done one himself at SC Don's own jersey. Hey Chris, I must can get a zoom in upon his DP. Looking like one clean shaven guardy. Who that? Joe Daney and his missus. Ginger, let me zoom up. Louis King done got himself a blue Don Zippy, showing us love from Reading. Chew say the Zippies are running out of stock. Go get them while you can, family. Oh, the young boy Cal, spotted at work. Chris, zoom in on his feet. So we can all have a giggle. Mm, you've been spotted. Everyone talks about Oz's car wash and what a great service he provides. Well, here he's been spotted having a break while everyone else works. Is it? You've been spotted. What do you mean you ain't got your SE Don's kits? Invest in your family. Shirts available now. Don masks, hoodies, snoods, and woolies all available too. www.sedons.com. Tommy's Tax! Download the Tommy's Tax app and use SE Dons as your referral code. Trust me, star. You're not one trouble with the tax, man. Big up our sponsors German Donna Kebab, Laughing Buddha, Juvenis, and SIS. You family now. 50 on the Michael Bublé. Semenya over to Blue gets caught in possession. Great footwork from Shaggy comes to Nathan. You ain't getting past Big G like that. So more from Team Scotty, uh, it's the myth, cuts inside, Shaggy lets it run, another big save from G. 53 on the turtle shell, still 2-0 to the Dons, uh, break away from Shaggy, first time shot, a lovely reflex from the 6 foot 6 Ugandan. So more from the Dons, this blue knocks it into Alexis, loses possession to Jake Reeves, turns out, Myth lets it run, it's lovely to watch, lovely 1-2, it's another big save from Big G. I don't think they're going to beat him today. So 2-0 up inside 60, I would say we haven't dominated the game and Scotty's team are looking quite exciting coming forward, so I think the next goal is very important. Um, if we can get a third, I can't really see them coming back from that. If they do score next, then they could be back in it. It's great play from Anser though. He finds Semenyo. You can't let my roster get space like that. Slide tackles and handballs. The crook ain't happy with Scotty's centre back. And he's got some words for him. Hold what you've done today and feel embarrassed, bro. So the Don's 3 0 up with a real chance to break away and put this game to bed. Great footwork from Cads. Spot Zach Ansar. Can't find his angle. Cads can. Yeah! One more for the Nutmeg crew. One more for the I'm just here for the tackles crew. Oi, brother, oi, brother. Put your socks on, bro. Went for the ball, didn't I? So, approaching the 70th. T into Zach. First time ball to Alexis. Back to Alexis. Uh, knocks it over to Semenyo. Can't get the ball out of his feet. Um, definitely looks like a foul to me, but we love a bit of that. And the play runs. Uh, it's Jake coming forward for Scotty's team, but T does so well defensively. Collects it. Stays composed. Comes forward. Great to watch. Lovely little one-two. And then proceeds to get a jiu-jitsu kick to the gut. 67 on the Triple H, Nathan Golden, uh, good little one-touch football, like I said, they're good players, Scotty's team, good to watch. It's Myth, knocks it forward again, first time shot from Shaggy, another great save from Big G. And there's a little argument with his defenders. I know what we're doing. Shut the fuck up. Hey, I'm relaxed, I'm relaxed. Big G's a six foot six Ugandan goalkeeper. But he's done some footwork training sessions with Zach Hanser. I'll show you. Right Quick question for the opposition. What's the name of Montel's merchandise? Easy. Spot on. For that, we won't score this. 
Approaching the 75th. More from Scotty's team moving it about. Blue comes flying in like Superman. Can't believe a foul weren't given, but I love all that. Play continues. We promote that stuff. And it's Cads. It was almost a beautiful poem. 4-0 up, but the skipper Big G still can't switch off. It gets called to action again, then he parries it out wide to Jake. And then defenders do their job to knock it out. Cads Daniels is his name. He's just been called up to the guy in his international squad. But sometimes he likes to dance with the Mexicans. With the Mexicans. I'm embarrassed. I didn't even kick a ball. So 80 minutes on the clock. Uh, Scotty's team credit to them. They're still coming forward. He gets fouled there. Nathan takes it quick. The boys are saying that's not where the free kick actually happened. Play continues. Myth puts it away. Runner ain't happy. So 4-1, the goal counts. Clean sheet, done. Cads knocks it back to do right. Chris as a goal. It's wayward. Runner makes sure. Their goal shouldn't have counted, bruv. I evened it up now. So 83rd in, I've had to leave this clipping because I just enjoy watching the myth at work. You can see him here moving it around, collects it, just a little flick up, knocks it back inside, uh, takes it again, they all trust him with it. He sees the runner Scotty, kind of kangaroo pass towards Scotty, knocks it over to Nathan. Eventually runner collects it, he comes forward and then Cads gets a taekwondo boot in the lower gut. <laughs> So 85 minutes of football with no breaks, Big G still locked in. 87 on the dashboard. Big G knocks it over to Alexis. Cads gets the opportunity to make it six. Oh. 88 minutes on the clock tower. Riley into okay. Zach Ansar. First time pass forward to K Runner, who's been outstanding. Zach Ansar's been outstanding. They've all been outstanding. It's Semenyo knocks it across. It's blue. Ross, you see it there? My brother Zach Yama. And then Semenyo knocks it across for Blue. So with the full time whistle about to go, it is going to end 6-1 to Zach's Dons. Let me send a big shout out to Scotty, one of our own, to Miff and the boys. A great team and it was a great watch. So that's Zach's team unbeaten all summer. We have the final game next Sunday. And then after that is the return of Sunday League football. Guys, we're 5,000 subscribers away from 200,000. Make sure you pause the video. Now's the chance to do it and go and subscribe. Let's see if we can hit this 200k before the end of the month. I'll see you next week. What you saying, yes, man? Don't don't do it. Yeah, man, the boy's done a job, man. I just wanted to see Myth play again, fam. I came to see Myth, bro. That's what, I didn't even come to see the Dons. I came to see Myth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it, bro. And my boy Nathan Palmer, fam. That's it. Good game it's store, man. Good, good game, game yeah. Store, yeah, it was good store. What you saying? I don't know if I can get back in the team, bro. You reckon? Hey, we got, we got to say about that goal you, you put in right at the end. Why? I see Cads do just it? doing the madness. So I said to myself, you know what? Let me come forward. Let me show you what a right back can do. Bosh! I mean. I mean. Scotty, man, what you got to say about that game? Nothing to say, Chris. Where's Ants? Ants? Throws in. I see you talk about business okay? there. Yeah, it's a myth, innit? Yeah, obviously, I, I know I've got a rule, yeah. The first rule, I don't talk to him on camera. That's it. Yeah, just yeah. Let, just, just let him do his... Just let him do his... See, Miff, yeah, I'll put it out there for the people. Miff will always be a don, but, you know, he loves his Saturday nights, Chris, bro. He loves his Saturday nights, and he knows that if he can't give us 100%, he don't want to put his name on it. You know the ones? But, yeah, man, it's always good to see the Miff, bro. That Zach Fagan with a torn ACL and fractured kneecap yeah. doing all this. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with him. There's nothing wrong with him at all. Nothing. Hey, there's, there's no time for me to come through me training, but you've got time to train Brazilian women. Oh, 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 oh